We are here at Ian Deutsch Memorial Park where Southwest Medical held their Walk with the Doc event. Well, you know, we wanted to have this event to show people that, you know, activity, walking, um, any type of movement is just really good for the body, good for the heart, good for the blood pressure, um, good for your overall well-being. So um, on a beautiful day, you know, it's a great event uh, to take part in. We have a lot of our patients that we see, a lot of new people coming in, um, and we're walking with them. So you know, we're getting them out there and they're walking. It's fantastic. It, this is very well attended, isn't it? It is, it is. And we found that, you know, when we come out here to do these events, um, people really are involved and really enjoy them. And uh, they get to talk to doctors, they get to talk to our, our staff, get their blood pressure checked. Um, and uh, it's a nice, you know, calm and uh, very, uh, you know, informal way of meeting uh, maybe a potential doctor. Talk about the informal way of uh, meeting your patients like this. How is it for a doctor to uh, meet patients in a setting like this? It's great. You know, when we first started coming here, we had events at the at Prompt Nugget and in, in the park as well. And uh, meeting them and then having come, them come to clinic, it, you would remember them from those uh, meetings. And they uh, just I feel more relaxed, I think, coming in. And I, you feel, already feel as though you've met them and talked to them for a while and know them. So it's, it's just a nicer way to, to get to meet somebody. You know, sometimes going into a doctor's office can be intimidating for both the, the patient and the doctor, you know, you, you don't know how you're going you're gonna to gel, but uh, when you meet outside like this, people know you're going to get along well. So. Let's talk about ways to stay heart healthy. Absolutely, you know, always the big, the, the big ones, diet, exercise are important, not smoking, very important, um, but when it comes to fitness, um, you know, walking 10, 10,000 steps a day, we say, is a great way to keep fit. Really, you know, fitness doesn't take a lot, especially for heart health. It takes a good 30 to 60 minutes of mild to moderate exercise every day, and that can be walking. It doesn't have to be crazy running. It doesn't have to be done all at the same time, either. It can be done in 10-minute intervals. So you have, if you have a treadmill at home and you're not doing anything for 10 minutes, walk on it, and you know, maybe two hours later, if you have some time, get on it again. So you really don't have to get really aerobic, really sweaty to get that heart health benefit. Is that important to get aerobic um, or should a person slowly achieve that or do they need to achieve it? Um, it is important now, and you should always, whenever um, you're starting an exercise program, start slowly. You know, um, if you have any heart disease, always check with your cardiologist or with your doctor before you start a new exercise program. But yeah, starting gradually, building up slowly, and then getting to the point where you're comfortable and you know, and you're not overly fatiguing yourself um, is you know, is really the goal. And it's with aerobic activity, also with strength training. You know, we always. Uh, neglect that as part of a weight loss or heart program but it's really important you know light weight training that doesn't cause strain on the body just repetition until you feel a kind of burn um, creates lean muscle lean muscle burns fat lean muscle is more sensitive to insulin so it helps with diabetes and we found that it really helps heart pump function as well so there you go thank you so much for speaking with us and thanks for being at this event and if people would like to uh, see you should they check them with a cardiologist every once in a while or just their general practitioner who refers you? Sure, yeah, the primary care doctor um, uh, is, is their sort of base of operations and um, if they feel that they need a cardiologist for any reason, uh, they'll refer. And we'll this is Deanne O'Donnell for News 46.